What's up everybody? I'm going to show you guys how to install custom firmware on your RG350. Right now you only have two options. You have the Rogue custom firmware and the original OpenDingX firmware that was done by the OpenDingX team. I recommend that one um, since everything has been tested and they'll support you on it. If you're a more advanced user, you can go ahead and try the custom firmware. I've tried both. I haven't seen much of a difference in either. So it's up to you. If you download the one from the OpenDingX team, it's almost 2 gigs, so it takes a while. But just follow the link in the description and download it, and then unzip it. If you download the Rogue Custom Firmware, make sure you click on Releases. And then go all the way down to the bottom, and make sure you grab the SD underscore image dot bin. That's the one you're going to flash to the internal. All right, I'm going to go ahead and switch uh, the camera over to the RG350, and I'll show you guys how to take it apart and take out the SD card. And then I'll switch back to the PC and show you guys how to flash it. Okay. Basically, the RG350 only has four screws holding it together, making it very easy to get into. I've already removed the screws. Um, I'm not going to do that on video. I'll leave that to ETA Prime. What we're looking for right here is the micro SD card that it ships with. You're probably going to want to replace it with something bigger or something faster. But if not, just go ahead and tear off the sticker that was right there. Make sure you don't damage the SD card when you're taking off the sticker. Just slide it out. And we're ready to put it in the PC and flash. Okay, now that we have the SD card out, we're going to need to flash our image. I recommend Etcher. I do not recommend Win32 Disk Imager um, because if there's a Linux partition already on it, it won't start which is really a big bug. You can use older versions or you can just plug it in after you've started the program, but I just use Etcher instead. So I'll leave a link to description in the description to both of the programs, sorry about that. Um, after that, you're gonna to want to make sure that your SD card does not have any extra partitions on it, especially if you're using the one from the stock RG350. So to do that, I use a program called Disk Genius, that is also free. So I'll leave a link in the description. Once you have that, go ahead and start up Disk Genius. And it should see your SD card once you have it insert, inserted. Make sure you select the correct one. All right. I know for a fact that mine is the F and G partition. Um, how do I know? The G partition is an Xtend4, which is a Linux file system, which I cannot see in Windows. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to actually make sure I select the correct storage device, which is the 16 gig card, and then I'll start with the G partition, which is the Xtend4. I'll delete it. And then I'll delete the small partition. Once again, make sure you're on the right SD card, otherwise you can really mess things up. Then I'm going to create a new partition. And you can just make it FAT32, whatever it detects by default, because it doesn't really matter. Etcher's going to automatically change it. So I just select Save All. And it'll ask if you want to format the partitions. Just say yes. That way Windows will see it. And then you can go ahead and close that. Once that's closed, go ahead and start Etcher. And you're going to select the image that you downloaded. Um, if you downloaded the RG350 base image from the OpenDingX team, you'll have to unzip it. You can use uh, 7-zip, WinRAR, whatever you want to use. Then you're going to browse to where your image is. You're going to select it. It'll automatically select the smallest SD card. Um, by default, mine was the smallest, and that's the 16 gig there. Make sure it's the right one before you flash. Then click on the little gear, 
an uh, uncheck validate write on a success. Otherwise, it's going to take really long. Select OK, and then select Flash. It'll take a while depending on the speed of your SD card, but it shouldn't take any longer than 20 minutes or so. Okay, now that the flash is completed, we need to extend the actual partition so it fills up our SD card. If you use the Rogue Custom Firmware, you're not going to have to do this step. If you have the Rogue Custom Firmware and you flash that SD underscore image dot bin, all you have to do is put it back in your RG350 and reboot. It'll automatically resize. If you use the default Open Dingux build, go ahead and start Disk Genius again. And you'll probably have to reinsert your SD card. And once you see your SD card, find the X4 partition, right click on it, and select resize. All you have to do then is just keep dragging from left to the right, holding the left mouse button down till it fills up the whole space. Then click start. Make sure it's the right card. Select yes, and it'll resize that partition so you can use all the space on your SD card. This can take a while, um, so just go get a coffee or something. Again, it depends on the speed of your SD card. Once it says complete, click on complete. And you should now be able to see a 14 gig partition instead of a little 500 meg partition. Go ahead and close out of Disk Genius. And now you are free to place the SD card back in your RG350 and boot up with custom firmware.